Hello guys, I am Flash Isaac and today I'll be taking you through the concepts of work, energy and power. In physics or in life generally, these are words that I use daily. I want to do the work. Man, I don't have energy. Do you have power? Work done now is first of a body times the distance. And what is force? Force is an agent that causes motion. Recall that motion is a uh, change uh, position of a body with time. Bodies change. We move from one point to another and we have different types of motion. We have rotational motion, which is the motion of a body about an axis. We have a linear motion and we have an oscillatory motion, which is to and fro motion of a body. We have random motion, which is zigzag motion of a body. Motion would not have been possible without force. So when a force is applied to the body and is enough and is able to overcome friction, the body moves. If force is applied to a body and the body moves a distance, therefore work is said to be done. If you give me this load and I'm carrying it, from one point to another, that means I am doing work. If there is force and there is no distance, work done is zero. So if I give you this whole building to put on your head, so long there is no distance or so long displacement is zero, that means no work is done. And now recall that force is equals ma, which is mass times acceleration. If you are bringing this in, we can simply say that work done can also be equals force, which is mass times acceleration, times distance s. Therefore, work done is equals m a s. And look at it. This is acceleration. What about the body is moving uh, vertically, vertical motion, downward or upward? In that case. This acceleration becomes G, that means acceleration due to gravity. And this becomes G. And distance. How about you are moving a vertical distance? If you are moving from here to here, we can use S, which is horizontal distance. But for a body with vertical distance, in that, that vert uh, vertical distance is referred to as height. So you can put H here. What does it imply? Work done is equals M G H. For a vertical body and this is equivalent to potential energy as well this is work done let's look at energy what is energy energy is simply the ability or capability to do work energy can be in different forms forms which are we have the uh, mechanical energy the like energy in machines light energy like energy from bulbs heat energy we have heat energy, we have chemical energy stored in various forms and even in the body. We have different forms of energy. We have gravitational energy self. These are an energy or force bringing things down. Energy cannot be destroyed. It can be changed from one form to another. For example, uh, your earpiece. We are playing song. The earpiece transforms the electrical energy the signal into sound which you hear electrical motor converts electri electrical energy to mechanical energy generators convert mechanical energy to electrical energy even your uh, pressing iron it converts that electrical energy into heat energy because it generates heat and light bulb uh, gener uh, brings light so even solar energy we have solar energy so we have various energies but they, can be, they cannot be destroyed. They can always change from one form to another. So in the law of conservation of energy, it says that in an isolated or closed system, closed system is a system in which nothing is going out and nothing is coming in. So the total energy remains the same. Although in the system, energy can change from one form to another, from electrical to mechanical, from this to that, but the total energy is conserved. Now, Knowing that and um, various forms of energy, we have types of energy. Energy can either be potential energy or kinetic energy. 
Potential energy is the energy a body possesses due to its position relative to other bodies. So it's based on its position, that is the energy that body is possessing. And kinetic energy is the energy a body possesses due to motion. So why potential energy is equals mgh mass gravity times height, because height talks about position and moving down. The kinetic energy is equals half mv square. Power is equals work done or work over time. So it's the rate of doing work. Power is the rate of doing work. It is work over time. So let's say uh, we are doing a very big work within a short time. That means you have more power. So that's what power is about. And remember that work done is force times distance. So if work done is force times distance, that means here we force times distance over t. So looking at this, this is distance over time. And what is distance over time? Distance over time is velocity. So this implies that power is equals force times velocity. Why am I doing all these things? For work done, in some questions, they will give you a uh, mass. And they'll say take g as this. They'll give you work done. I ask you to look for height. So this is an equation combining work done, mass, uh, gravity, and height. This is an equation combining power, force, and velocity. So why this is relating mass, velocity, square. And the uh, unit of work done, work is force times distance. Force is Newton. Distance is meter. So therefore, the unit of work is Newton meter. And Newton meter is the same thing as Joe. Feel free to visit flashlinars.com for more videos and other amazing academic guides. Thank you and subscribe to this channel. Catch you on the next one.